Are you looking for a method to add a timestamp into your video so that you can direct your viewers to a specific point in time within your video? You may have run a previous live stream or you have a longish video that you've broken down into segments. And to save people watching the actual complete video, what you can do is you can jump them forward in time to the specific section that you're referring to within your timestamps. Well, if that's what you're searching for, I have that covered on the inside of this video. My name is Chris Cole from BroadcastGeeks.com and thank you very much for checking out this video. As always, I would appreciate a comment, a like and for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also remember to click that bell icon notification icon so that you're notified every time I upload content just like this. So getting started, the first thing that I would recommend that you do is go to the video in question that you're considering adding the timestamps into. Watch that video and then obviously pause the video at the point where you want people to be able to jump forward in time too. And then write that time down. Now what you want to do, if it's 1 minute and 25 seconds, you want to write 1 colon 25. And then maybe a little bit of information or a chapter heading for that point in time in video. Continue on watching the video and if you want to add additional points in time within the video, repeat the process. Write the time down as in the, the actual numeric figure you see. So it's, if it's three minutes and 33 seconds, well then it's going to be three colon three three. Write a description again and complete the process right through the video. Stage two of this then, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your YouTube studio account. You're going to navigate to the video in question where you want to add the timestamps and then you're going to go into the video editor. Once inside the video editor, click within the description area, wherever you want to add your timestamps, and then simply just start to type in your numeric figure. So one colon two five, give a space, and then maybe a chapter heading or a bit of a reference as to what that point in time is, and then repeat the process for each and every timestamp that you want to add into your video description. Once you're happy and you've entered all of the timestamps that you wish to insert within your video description, click save. Now you need to go across and view the video. View the live video over on YouTube and look at the description and you'll notice now that the times that you have actually wrote the one call on 25 is now a clickable link. This should jump you forward in time to that specific point within the video. And also the subsequent links will take the viewers to the other times that you have specified within the timestamps. I found that this is a very handy feature for longer videos and also whenever you run live streams. Specifically live streams because they can be a lot longer and you may cover several topics. And what you can do is you can insert the timestamps within your live stream uh, description so that as you change subject or ch change topic point well then you can jump the viewers to that particular point. It's really really good because some people hit your video or some people find your video for a specific piece of content and if you tell them early on that there's timestamps within the video description so that they can get direct to the content, it saves them having to sort of watch, click into your video and then click away because they feel that you haven't answered the specific question that they came for. So again, my name's Chris Cole from BroadcastGeek.com. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and as always, I would appreciate you subscribing to my YouTube channel Click on that bell icon notification so that you're notified every time I upload videos like this. And of course, drop a comment because it's a community here and I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear any of the questions that you have, any of the views you have. So why not go ahead, drop a comment below the video and of course, I'll speak to you across in another video.